Hi all folks, this is Max from NexusSHacks.com So today we're going to root our um, ICS on um, Nexus S or Nexus S 4G um, The process is actually nearly identical to um, being on the gingerbread um, But I'll go through it again just in case for those of you wondering So I've got uh, official um, ICS here uh, First thing you'll want to do is um, turn off your phone Power off Power off. Alright. And then you'll want to hold down the um, volume up and the power button together until you see that bootloader, right? And it should say it's locked, as you can see. Oops. There we go. It says it's locked, right? So from here, what we're going to do is uh, connect. Our USB cable, USB cable, to our phone, mm -hmm. and it should say, um, it should say fast boot mode there, and we're all good to go. And let's go to our computer. Next, what you want to do is, um, if you're using Windows, um, you can do this on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, but if you're using Windows, you have to install drivers manually. So go open up um, hardware and sound. Um, go to control panel actually. Control panel. Um, you can see I'm opening control panel here. Control panel. And then uh, choose hardware and sound. And choose device manager. And if you haven't installed, if you haven't rooted any kind of um, Android phones before, you'll probably get uh, this kind of exclamation mark. If you don't and you have like an Android USB device, you're good to go. So you don't have to skip this step. Um, but for those of you who have this, you double click on it, um, hit update driver, hit browse my computer for my uh, software, and then let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer, and pick show all devices, next. Um, click on have disk, and then browse. Um, and then what you want to do is, I'm um, sorry, I, uh, I should have made you download this file first. You should have downloaded um, Nexus S root ICS dot zip and unzip it somewhere in your hard disk. I unzipped it to C slash Nexus S root ICS folder. And in here you'll find the USB driver folder which has your USB drivers. Um, so we're going to browse to that folder. So I'm going to go to my computer. C drive, um, Nexus S root ICS, right? And then we're going to USB driver folder. And we're going to try to choose Android underscore winusb.inf. Open, hit OK. Um, choose ADB, ADB interface, um, the first one. Click Next. Um, say Yes. And also install this driver anyways. And this will install your drivers, and you should be all ready to go. Basically, all we have to do is use fastboot command to um, do an OEM unlock, which will unlock your phone. And then we can install um, a Torp recovery, which allows you to install super user and other ROMs and um, whatnot. So it's really simple. It's the same thing as before. Um, there's two different versions of twerp, so you'll have to install either one. So when you get that and close, you should get ADB interface down here. So you're all good to go. Um, if you have Mac or Linux, of course, you've skipped all this stuff. All right, next step, we're gonna uh, open up a command prompt. Go to start. Um, See, I have start, hit the start button, that's the start button, and in the search, um, type CMD, enter for Windows. For Mac or Linux, you have to um, open up a command uh, terminal. I hope you know how. If you don't know how, just look it up. Google. Google is great. Google, how do I open terminal? Mac or Linux. All right. And then we're going to uh, use CD command to browse to the folder. Um, Nexus S root ICS. And that's actually a backslash. Um, so that's my Korean font on my Windows. Um, that's not a W, it's a backslash 
the opposite of that slash, this way. All right. But I have what, what to type on my blog post. So go to that directory, and we're gonna type uh, fastboot OEM unlock. All right. And this will unlock our phone. And uh, choose yes by hitting the volume up button, and then the power button. And you'll see that it's unlocked now. See, it says unlocked. All right, and then we're good to go. Um, next, we're gonna install the uh, recovery. So all you have to do is fast boot. Um, fast boot uh, flash space recovery space um, twerp twrp dash crespo dash two point oh point rc0.img. This is for the regular Nexus S. If you have the Sprint Nexus S 4G, you want to type. Uh, you'll want to add 4G in front of it. So there's two files. So, but I have the regular version. So I'm gonna install this one. All right, and hit enter. And then let's go back to our phone. Um, our process is pretty much done here. So let's boot into our new recovery. Um, sometimes, if if you install recovery once, and sometimes the Android, uh, if you're on like a stock ROM, it will overwrite it every time you reboot. So you might have to do the process where I just uh, we type fastboot flash recovery if that happens, and flat when you flash another ROM, and usually flashing a custom ROM will solve it. So hit re choose recovery and hit the power button. And this will get us into the new Twerp recovery for the Nexus S. And from here, we can use Twerp to install the super user files. Um, but we have to copy over a file called superuser.zip. Um, we can do it in Twerp recovery, or if you're having trouble, you can always just boot into your uh, phone and then mount it as USB. But we'll do it in Twerp recovery because I think it's simpler. Choose mount and mount USB storage. And this will mount your um, your Nexus S as a uh, disk drive. And let's go back to our computer. Next, we're gonna open up the folder where you copied over the um, the, uh, the Nexus S uh, root ICS um, folder there, right? And do a right, right click copy on superuser.zip. Um, so, let me show you this better. Right click and copy. All right. And then uh, copy it over to the um, your, your uh, Nexus S. I think there's actually two. That's the internal storage and the SD card, I think. So we'll just copy it. Um, oh, you know what? No, no, it's just this one. This one. Um, do a right click and paste. Oh, and by the way, when you uh, unlock your phone, it erases all the content in your phone. I forgot to tell you, sorry. Um, just make sure, when you do OEM unlock or lock, it just completely wipes everything. So, hopefully you watch this video before you begin. Um, and then what you will do is um, go back to your phone. Now you've got the super user copied over to the internal storage of your Nexus S or Nexus S 4G. And we can choose uh, unmount here. And then um, you can hit the back button to go to home. And then hit install. And choose the super user.zip that you just copied over. And this will basically root your phone. Flash now and install super user. Um, so it's done. Um, reboot system. And this is an older version of super user, but it doesn't matter. It should work fine. You can always update super user app um, from the market. And also when you install custom ROMs, it usually comes with an updated super user. Um, but it doesn't matter that all the versions are pr practically the same. Um, the newer versions, I don't see any kind of improvements um, other than the version number. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I haven't seen any kind of significant, significant performance improvement in different versions of super user um, so hopefully we'll have a super user um, rooted Nexus S and Nexus S 4G 
and I'll be right back when this is finished booting. Hi, folks, and once we reboot, once you reboot, um, everything should be reset. So go ahead and sign in, and um, you can go um, check that super user is there. Then you are fully rooted. Um, also, additional thing you can do is um, go to I think preferences, and you can try to um, update, check for updates. Um, so do tap tap to check updates, and then um, it says already installed current version. You can update anyways if you want to, and hit allow. And if that shows up, then um, your super user is working. Um, you can do it again if you want to. It probably won't ask you, let's just say super user granted. So your ICS uh, Nexus S or Nexus S 4G has been completely rooted um, and also you've installed Twerk recovery, but most likely if you're on a stock ROM, it will erase it. So what you have to do is do that command again, fast boot space flash space recovery space twerp dash crespo dash or 4G for um, all that command. Uh, we did just one step before, you, ha you have to do that again to get into twerp. Um, and then install custom ROM, and it should be permanently installed after that. Um, so that's how you root it. Um, don't forget to check out nexusshacks.com for more hacks, ROMs, and tips and tricks. And don't forget to leave your comments on what you want me to do with the Nexus S 4G series or the Nexus S series. So see y'all later. Thanks. We just root it. See y'all.